Hey, Kelly, thanks very much. I mean, yeah, I mean, you talked about the meme stocks a few minutes ago with Dom. Well, this stock, not a meme stock, but it's taken off like rocket fuel if rocket fuel is powered by renewable diesel, which maybe it will be someday. Randy Stewie is the CEO of Darling Ingredients, DAR. You took over the company decades ago, 65 cent stock. You're one of the hottest stocks in the entire energy space, but a lot of our viewers may not be familiar with you. Restaurants, grease, animal fats, but renewable diesel. What's Darling's main business right now? We process 10% of the world's slaughtered animal byproducts. We convert them into food products. If anybody takes a gel cap every morning, if you're seeing Jennifer Aniston out there on collagen peptides, that's us. If you then you move over to the feed sector, pet foods, aquaculture feeds, organic fertilizers, and then you move to the fuel. And that's where we've taken animal fats, the greenest hydrocarbon in the world, and we've cracked it and made a decarbonizing solution that's just ready for today's world. And you got a joint, you've got a joint venture with Valero, a 50-50 joint venture, obviously on the refining side as well. What is your total addressable market in renewable diesel? And talk to us a little bit about margins, because there's a lot of other companies here and elsewhere that would also like to be in that space. Yeah, the first thing, Brian, is, is renewable fuels are just part of a portfolio of solutions that the world needs to both power itself and decarbonize itself. When we went into this in uh, 2010 with Valero, they had already moved into the, the, the ethanol space. They're the greenest oil company out there. They're a great partner. We brought serial number 01 of the idea of marrying the, the darling supply chain of animal fats, their knowledge of hydro treating or mm -hmm. cracking the molecule. And today we make 275 million gallons. I know it's a miniature drop in the bucket of fuel. Uh, here around fourth quarter, that'll move up to 675, 700 million, and then we got a third plant due online in 23 that'll put us at 1.2 billion gallons, making us one of the largest in the world, or the second, and the largest in North America in making green yeah. renewable fuels. And I, you know, I was going to ask him, Kelly, because stock has gone from 25 to 75, 77 bucks. If he thought that they've gotten ahead of itself, but then Citigroup yesterday comes out with an initiation, a buy rating and a $110 price. You were at $25, now $110 price target, you're 75 bucks. What is the street, what did they miss before or what are they just catching on to now? The, the, the street is still trying to understand is the margin in renewable diesel sustainable? Is the moat that we built around our St. Charles and our Port Arthur facility, is it defensible? Meaning we've married a supply chain of the lowest cost, low carbon intensity fuel with great technology, a great partner, yep. and a great downstream. So now they're starting to see the earnings come off of it. And all of a sudden, you know, they're running the model. And it's so simple. We're running margins in, in excess of $2 a gallon. We're going to produce 700 million gallons here in about three months. We'll be at that run rate, marry it to our core business. And it's a real easy multiple valuation. You get into $1.2 to $1.5 billion EBITDA yeah. numbers and then take a multiple times it. Very but is it, it's a, but it is kind of a hard company to understand because you are unique. There's not there's private companies that do kind of what you do, but there's no real big public companies. Do you feel like that's been part of the issue with the stock until recently? That analysts, you know, they're not you're not oil and gas really. You're kind of in the animal space. You're kind of in the pharmaceutical space. It's hard to understand. It's a, it's a as we say, it's a simple business with a lot of moving parts. There's no public comps out there anywhere in the world. As I said, we process 10% of the world's yep. animal byproducts today. And, and it's just a, it's a really unique space, but it's one that also doesn't get a lot of coverage. You know, we've been lucky to bring on a lot of energy yep. analysts this last year. That's assisted us. People are starting to, we're starting to shine. And it's really fun for our employees, our shareholders, our board, everybody to see this thing come together. Stock has been rocket fuel, and you say you're not getting a lot of coverage. Well, you're getting coverage right now. Randy Stewie, CEO of Darling Ingredients, thank you. Thank you. Our first in-person guest at about 15 months back at a conference, and what better to do it? The stock, Kelly, I don't want to say it's a meme stock, but it's certainly been acting like that as well. But Citigroup says it's got a long way to go. By the way, we've got a long way to go here at the conference. More guests all day long here on CNBC from Houston.